Well, I think I'd confused people into believing I was using Plasma 5 for quite a long time, when in actual reality I was using Kubuntu 1404 with Plasma 4 styled to look like Plasma 5. Well, now I am using Kubuntu 1604 with Plasma 5, and I've had quite a few questions on people asking me how I themed my system to look like this. This beautiful work of art, in my opinion. <laughs> That's debatable, of course, but opinions are debatable. So I shall show you how I have themed my system. And I'm going to be using KDE Neon for this demonstration. I figured I would kill two birds with one stone looking at KDE Neon and showing a theming in the same video. Now actually that's probably a bad terminology to use because I'm not doing any execution of flying animals. It just means I'm doing two things in one go. So let's start by moving this um, not cashew to yeah somewhere over there. Now I'm going to click on the not cashew for this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's a hamburger menu, isn't it? It just used to be called a cashew. So let's change the width there. Yes, that looks a little bit better. I'm going to right click and add another panel here to empty panel at the top. And I need to resize it. Right. That's got it. So now set it to right. So add widgets. I am looking for time. Yeah, digital clock. One of those. I want a system tray. One of those, yes. And a shutdown button. Now it's a lock logout button. Now I showed in another video how to make that into a shutdown button. So right click on the lock logout settings and tick lock. So it's just leaving us a leave button. There's a few more settings I need to change here on this panel. So we want windows can go below. That's what I need. So windows will go right up to the top of the screen. I've also put the time in the wrong place as well, haven't I? That's that panel sorted. So let's get rid of those items out of here. So I don't need a digital clock, don't need that system tray. So add widgets. Icon only task manager. That's what I need. Won't see anything just yet because I haven't got anything open. Right click on the application launcher, click on alternatives. Now I like the application dashboard switch. There we go. So that forms the basic layout of the panels. Now to get the styling done, so I click on the launcher and go to the system settings. Ooh, we have two launchers here for some reason. What has happened here? Ah, I had two icon only task managers. Actually, let's pad that out a little bit as well. So I'm going to open Dolphin and Firefox. So right click on Dolphin. Show a launcher when not running. Same for Firefox. Show a launcher when not running. That's better. System settings. So I'll start with the workspace theme. So a lot of what I had was Breeze Dark. The desktop theme. Well, this looks a bit different now in Plasma 5.7. So get new theme. I had Underworld. Underworld. So install. Going to show straight away. Nope. There we go. So apply. Cursor theme. And I have to go and acquire this one. I use the hacked AIO cursor theme. Probably this one from GNOME Look. Yes, that is the one. Cuts and move to. So I'll need to move it to a new folder dot icons. Yeah, that's fine. So in dot icons, paste that folder. Right. Now let's go back to the theming. So reopen workspace theme. Cursor theme. Hacked AIO. Resolution dependent. And I was using this cyan or turquoise coloured one. Right, into colour. Yes, I was using the breeze dark colour. 
There's nothing else special needed here. Fonts. I changed all the fonts to the Ubuntu font. So I can adjust all fonts and change font uh, Ubuntu. Okay. Here's another little trick as well. Use anti-aliasing. Configure subpixel rendering, RGB, hinting style, slight. That improves the font rendering in GTK applications. Right, the application style, window decorations. Let's get a new decoration. Use dark translucent. So install that. Apply. The GNOME GTK styling. Use breeze dark on there. Apply. Yes, and back. And I think that's about it. There was one other thing I changed is the close, minimize, maximize buttons. I put them on the left hand side. So you can do that just by dragging them across. So it's close, minimize, and maximize. So that was a look at my styling of KDE. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.